When one visits a traditional automated teller machine, also known as ATM, it's expected that one inserts a debit card to withdraw or deposit cash. But at this Bitcoin ATM, you can only buy or sell Bitcoin using cash. Every day, the number of cryptocurrency users and investors increases as it gains worldwide acceptance and so is the same for Bitcoin, the most used cryptocurrency. So once I get this QR code, I put it... This has led to a number of developments and innovations like the Bitcoin ATMs to make the exchange process more convenient and secure for users. Adekule Daniel, a young entrepreneur with knowledge in blockchain technology development, has designed and developed a Bitcoin ATM, the first in Nigeria. He says the level of digital literacy needed to operate the machine is as simple as the knowledge one needs to operate a mobile phone. So essentially, I was trying to solve um, the major problem, which is um, turning physical money to a digital money because Bitcoin cryptocurrencies are digital assets. So I was looking for a way to bring that digital asset closer to the people in real time. You know, it will be very, very difficult for you to explain to someone a novice or an illiterate what a cryptocurrency or what digital assets are. So now, having this in my mind, I taught it and I put it upon myself to develop a, a, a technology that will revolutionize this, you know, invention of digital assets because I am very sure that we all need digital assets. So the best way to do it is to have a real feel of what it is. Bitcoin machines work in similar fashion as the traditional ATMs as they allow users to engage in financial transactions. However, they are yet different in that they are not connected to a bank account. Instead, they are linked to a Bitcoin exchange via the internet which allows users to buy and sell Bitcoin directly and instantly. When you tell someone that there's a machine that turns physical money, that's fiat, to cryptocurrency or digital assets and vice versa, you know, they won't believe you. So um, I did few research, you know, uh, developed, got, got into few components and then um, trained software to recognize Naira, fake Naira and a whole lot. It took me few years to do that. So I want to buy digital assets. So the BTM works simply. All one needs to do is verify yourself by inputting your mobile phone number into the machine, after which a verification code by text is received to be entered into the machine. Once logged into the BTM, one can decide to buy or sell. To buy, you insert cash into the machine. A QR code is generated from your crypto wallet on your phone which is scanned to receive the Bitcoin. And to sell, you can send Bitcoin from your digital wallet to the QR code by the ATM. The Bitcoin ATM is connected to the internet and it comprises of a monitor, QR scanner, bill acceptor, and dispenser, all tied together via software to make Bitcoin transactions convenient and secure. So the BTM is a device that facilitates the exchange between Naira to digital assets. So it means that if you have Naira and you need crypto, whatever crypto you need, maybe Bitcoin, Ethereum, any of those digital assets, you go to the ATM, you put in your cash. We don't accept bank cards because this system threatens the bank, right? Just like the Uber threatens all tax systems, right? So that's why I didn't have the banking system to it. So it's physical cash. Like I am in a store, you're bringing cash, I'm taking it. So the risk is upon me to verify if the cash is real. You understand? So you go there, you put in your cash in the ATM machines, and then it verifies your cash in note a time. You see, and then it uh, verifies after verification, it sends you your digital asset instantly before you leave, you know, the, the ATM. And then if you have digital assets and you need Naira, like the banks now, when the CBN, you know, uh, rolled out circular that the bank shouldn't take crypto, deposit or withdrawal. Now, a lot of people were looking for ways to, you know, uh, cash out their crypto, you see. So one of the reasons why we developed the ATM is for people like that, it should in case there's an issues like that. So they just go to the ATM, they put their digital assets in the ATM and it gives them cash. 
With Adequalist knowledge in blockchain technology, developed the software and included components to make the machine friendly to crypto users in Africa. I tailored it to Africa, right? Looking at um, you know all the challenges we have in Africa. First of all, you know power, right? So I had to put in place an extra power because if let's take for instance there's no light, the ATM has to work. Now the way we designed our compliance here. Right, I had a fingerprint, which adds to the level of compliance. I added camera too. It means that I want to know my customer. If you are trading on the machine, I want to see you. I want to be able to know you and have a track record. So it's a little bit different from the usual Bitcoin ATM because I tailored this to the African market. I trained the software and the firmware and the recycler to recognize Naira and dispense Naira, accept and dispense Naira. So immediately the um, our digital assets for the CBN is out, that's the CBDC, central bank digital currency, if it's out, if you check the framework out, I can put that in error into this ATM too. It means that someone can go to my ATM and put cash in it and get the in error. So I'm, it's different, we're solving different problems. Adekunle started this journey four years ago and he says it wasn't a smooth one. The journey was really rough because then time I was solving a problem that's not existing. Now you are now knowing Bitcoin, you are coming to ask more about Bitcoin now. So reverse engineer four years ago, when I was building this, like even nobody knew Bitcoin at that time. Most people don't know Bitcoin at that time. Some were skeptical. So the challenges I had was, you know, solving um, a problem that's, that is not existing. I had to, you know, travel in and out to get components, right, because we don't have components here. So I had to travel in and out to get components. I had to train components. I had no light. There was no electricity. Now, in, in um, assessing few um, data sets and all the information I need to put these ATMs down, it was really challenging for me. So I was looking at the component, even the component, bringing them in, customs, was challenging. A whole lot, we, we got a whole lot of challenges. Bitcoin ATMs can be unidirectional. That is, you can either convert your BTC into fiat currencies or buy BTC and it can be bi-directional, which allows you to do both. This Bitcoin ATM by Dikunle Daniel offers the two-way function. And with the increased adoption of cryptocurrencies, we might be seeing more of these BTMs around.